Hey guys, some of you who watched my vlog from earlier today uh, would have noticed I used the word cadence and I was going to make a video to explain exactly what cadence is, so uh, let me show you. So cadence is basically the amount of times your pedal um, makes a revolution per minute. So let's just say we're pedaling forwards and we'll use this seat post here as the reference point. So say we start here and come around that would be one revolution so it's however many times it returns to the same position in one minute so a lot of people ask what's a good cadence well people say from about 80 to 100 um, is the most efficient um, I think it is after after practicing it for quite a while. Um, I used to mash my pedals, so I used to be in a big gear, um, and I used to I used to notice a lot that um, I was burning out my legs. You know, I wasn't physically tired, but I'd be burning out my legs, and I you know wouldn't be able to go any further. So spinning a high cadence, um, it's very efficient blood flow. So you, you know you can just just keep pedaling. You don't burn your legs out, so you can go for a much longer um, much longer time. Um, I notice as well that you know keeping my cadence within the range of about 80 to 100 I think my average cadence is probably 82 so it's still low 80s but I'm getting there um, it it's allowed me over time to push a bigger gear with by still getting that cadence and still keeping a great speed so um, it's definitely more efficient for me um, a lot of people are different some people some people can get more power and go longer by mashing the pedals you know pushing a bigger gear um, but for me, I've, I've tried both ways and um, having a higher cadence is definitely definitely more efficient and um, yeah, it just allows me to just, it just takes the pressure off the legs, it allows me to go for a lot longer and a lot faster and um, yeah, just, just much better overall. So give it a shot. Um, mountain biking is a little bit different because you can't always be pedaling fast, you know, sometimes you get stuck on a climb or, you know, tree roots and things like that, ruts. So it isn't always easy to keep that kind of cadence, but when it comes to road cycling, um, yeah, between 80 and 100 is good. Um, high is better, but at the same time, you don't want to be spinning and not going anywhere. So there's a there's a fine line between the both. Um, and yeah, I hope that explained what cadence means and um, give it a shot in your next ride. I can measure my cadence with my Garmin sensor, which is just in there. So, and it's on the back of my crank, just there. So I use my Garmin and sensors to tell me my cadence. After a while you can just, you can tell by feel roughly what you're doing. Um, but yeah, just do whatever works for you. Uh, but definitely give it a shot because it definitely helped me. Um, definitely helped me uh, be just a lot more efficient and um, last a lot longer. And still have power when I needed it. Um, definitely helps up climbs. You don't want to be mashing your pedals up climbs because that's when you you'll just burn out your legs and you'll have to you'll be getting off and walking. So if you can spin spin up those hills and climbs, um, you'll be doing good. Thanks for watching.